And I think the same thing with Margaret's paintings. It, it sort of, um, you know, it, they, they made no sense and were kitsch because they were either coming from um, uh, Walter Keane and there was no connection. You couldn't make any connection between this sort of Robert Mitchum guy with a scotch and these paintings of, a, of, a, of, of big-eyed children holding kittens. Uh, or they were just, they were anonymous art in a Woolworths. So you, once again, you, this felt like commerce. But when you know that this woman is trapped up in the attic and she's drawing those eyes and they're sad because she's sad, uh, at, least, at least takes it to a different place. That I think it, it, you need to look at it just a little bit differently. Yeah, and I mean, what's interesting is when the, when the paintings were in their heyday, like Larry was saying, it was all Walter or it was anonymous. I mean, it's really only, only, only been in recent years that people kind of understand that Margaret was the painter. So we're, we're sort of intrigued to sort of see what happens with this movie. If people sort of go back and look at Margaret now and go, okay, knowing that she was, she was genuine in what she was creating. There, there, there was nothing cynical about about the images, right. whereas when you attribute them to Walter, they seem kind of calculated. Right. That you would never look at that art back in the 60s and think there's a sincerity to them, which there really, really is.